Hey everybody. So I'm back at my house doing some stuff. So I was off work today. I just woke up and I was so tired and I was like, okay, I'm just going to need to take a day today and get some stuff done. So I have had a plan for my front pots for a couple of weeks now. I haven't gotten to do them because it turns out on Sunday afternoons after a hard day at the nursery, I'm just not in the mood to do anything in the yard. So I got today, I got off today and I actually spent a little bit of time up at the nursery doing a few things I needed to do, did some errands and here I am about to show y'all what I just did in my front pots. So I did some foxtail ferns in the center of each pot with some sweet potato vine. This is called Sidekick Lime Heart. Yeah, Sidekick Lime Heart. So it's the thinner leaf, and I really do prefer like a thick leaf potato vine, but I love all potato vine, and that is just what I had at the moment up at the nursery. So I did two potato vines at the 10 o'clock and two o'clock position. One super tunia bubblegum in the front, and then two super tunia bubblegums on each side. So these actually started looking a little bit sad, and the leaves kind of started turning a blue color. And I'm not really sure why that happened, but I do think that now that they're planted, and I'm going to put a little bit of fertilizer in there, um, they're going to leaf out and be green and look fine. Super Tenue Bubblegum, as I'm sure most of y'all know, is just a foolproof, um, just, you know, you can't lose with the Super Tenue Bubblegum. So I did those in my front pot with some potato vine and some foxtail fern. Also, I just need to show y'all this. This is my front now. These cone-shaped boxwoods have gotten a lot bigger since I planted them. And I've added two Oakland hollies on either side of my front door for some drama. I gotta be honest, that wasn't my idea. I give all the credit to John who came up with the idea for the two Oakland Hollies on either side of my front door. So that is what we've done since y'all have seen the front of the house last. So we put in some violas in November-ish and now I'm getting ready to do some Super Tunia bubble gums and some Super Tunia jazzberry um, super tunias in this bed around both of these hollies and i chose the super tunia bubble gum because like i said you just can't go wrong and the jazzberry is actually the proven winners annual of the year super tunia of the year and it's just a little bit of a deeper pink color and i really really like it and i especially like when a bed has like a monochromatic look and I love pink, so I thought it would be really, really pretty to do a deep pink and a bubblegum pink super tunias in these two beds. But I just need y'all to see these vintage jade distillium for a minute because these things are like just popping off. I think they are at least four feet wide. And if you count like these arms that are coming out, those, those are definitely probably about five feet, especially this one over here. So this is all just one vintage jade plant. And the reason I'm showing y'all this is because we have vintage jade out of the nursery and you could not look at the vintage jade we have at the nursery and think that it would do anything even remotely similar to this, but I put three vintage jades in the front of my house. And I think at this point it was probably two years ago and I spaced them about four feet apart. So 
that's the center of that, then that one, then that. So that's probably four feet between each one. And I think I've done this maybe three or so times, four times maybe in two years, come out and done a real like sweeping haircut around the perimeter of the plant so that I can keep these like tendrils a little bit short because I don't really want it to spread out and look crazy. I kind of wanted to keep them in shrub form. So when I did that, what happened was it forced them to thicken up like in the center of the plant. So I'm just going to be honest. I did not know that was going to happen. I just did that. And then over the course of time, watched and saw how they filled out and became like, the most beautiful full shrubs and they are maxing out at a height of probably about three feet so the vintage jade distillium and just about any distillium is a wonderful substitute for like a yopon or a boxwood and the great thing is that they don't go they don't have a um upright habit as much as they have an out a spreading out habit so you don't have to necessarily hide any of your brickwork that you have in the front of your home these do hide my brickwork but it's okay because the yopons that were in the front of the house when we moved in were like maybe three and a half to potentially even four feet tall and i mean they really did hide the bricks i think and I think these are, these are just really pretty. So I think they're okay. I do need to give them a little bit of a trim, but that's what's going on in the front. Now, let me walk over here and show y'all this Tamukiyama Japanese maple tree that's as tall as I am. So I do have some weeds. But I took this tree from the old house and this is the tree that I sat in the back of Ryan's truck and held on to all the way down Highway 84 like a crazy person. But look at it. It is gorgeous. We do sell these at the nursery too, by the way. They're not this big, but they will be. Is that gorgeous or what? So anyway, that's what's going on over here at the moment. I just wanted to stop in and say, hey, I hope y'all are all doing well and having a great week. And by the way, I have met several people who come out to the nursery and they say that they watch this YouTube channel and missed my videos, which is so sweet. And it's kind of encouraged me to get back on here when I can. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to y'all soon. Hope to see y'all at the nursery. Bye.